Hi, this is Michael Becker. And in this Tinderbox lesson, we're going to talk about how to get your data out of Tinderbox, specifically through uh, an HTML table that actually lets you pull your attributes into your report uh, in a really easy and effective way. And this is a lot easier to do than, say, a multi-step process of exporting your data out of Attribute Browser. And it's not to say that doing so out of Attribute Browser is not awesome. It totally is. Um, but this is just another method for you to be able to uh, pull your data out in, of Tinderbox and um, you know participate in that contribute phase of the knowledge creation process. So let me go ahead and share my desktop with you and show you how that works. So you see here I have a Tinderbox file and I pulled in a bunch of data from a spreadsheet on the world's largest data breaches that I sourced from McCandless and Evans at, at, at the website Insight is beautiful. Go check them out. They're pretty awesome. Um, now, what we're going to do here is take a look at that data. So you see I've got a bunch of records that are here about data breaches that have happened since 2005. Um, now, what I want to be able to do is render these out. Now, as we talked about in uh, our previous HTML export uh, examples, um, what we did was we used the standard HTML page uh, element here. So you'll see you've got your body text, and I'm going to pull in title, and I'm going to pull in text to render uh, that inf uh, information in a page. And so when we do that, you get a standard report. So this is the year, um, and specifically here, I'm seeing 2005 is my query, and here are the breaches that are listed in 2005. On this one, my query is which companies have been hacked, and here are the breaches that would have been ha that have had the method of being hacked that are in the report. Um, so that works out really great. Now, how do we go about getting our attributes into this report? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So here we've got an HTML template. So I've created a new template called table export, and that's super easy to do, frankly. Um, all you need to do, for instance, is um, you can copy um, an existing template like this and rename it anything you want, um, like new template. Right. And then you can just go in and start changing the HTML. That's one of the easiest ways to do it. Um, something of that nature. Um, what you can also do is um, simply, you know, create a uh, create a new note. Uh, so new from um, template from new note. We'll type that. Um, it's best to make it a code note. Um, so I can go uh, code note. So that way you can write code in here and then you can just straight up start writing your, your HTML copy. So for example, standard HTML so, you know, has this very specific format. So if you want to just start from scratch, you can do that too and just start writing your HTML. However you want to do it, it it's really up to you. I find the copy method um, to be uh, you know the easiest uh, process to go about doing that. So with that in mind, I, I have a, a copied HTML page here. And what I did is I just started putting in table HTML. So you'll see here table border, table row. These will become the labels of my row. Uh, and then uh, close out that first row. First row, And then we're going to now process the children into this HTML export. So let's go look at that. So we're saying go that and the children processing is happening at this subpage HTML item right here. And you'll see here we're now bringing in the rows. So I'm saying table row, table data, or table data, table data, table data. And here you're seeing right now, this is what the, the spe special secret sauce is right here. You're seeing we're using the value um, HTML export code. And we're saying caret value parentheses uh, organization, which is an attribute name, slash uh, print, uh, carrot, or, or, uh, you know, close parentheses, carrot. So again, if I go look at a record, you'll see here, here are my attribute names, sector, breach method, etc. So these attribute names can be pulled in through the HTML export code um, named value. So let's go ahead and look at that again. So if I go down here, you'll see uh, uh, export code value, organization, breach year, sector, breach method, reach loss, etc. Um, and we can go ahead and do that. So now watch what happens here. As we showed you earlier, I'm using templates.html to render this. I'm using templates.html here to render this one. So now let me go look at here. Instead of using templates.html, I'm using the other template that we've created, template export page. And now watch what happens. When I click on preview, um, it actually renders a table and not just a giant list. And it's, and it's putting in the 
attribute values into that table. Now, a couple things I want to show you. Let's see what happens if I misspell a value and I just call it breach, yo, um, error. Right? So I'm going to intentionally put in an error here. So I've got breach error. And now I go back up here and I render the table. Because we don't, you know, Tinderbox doesn't recognize that, that attribute, you're, I'm just not going to see any data. And if I go back and fix that again, reach here. So now it's going to recognize it. And I go preview. There's the years and it populates it. So this is a great way of pulling out um, your attributes into your reports uh, in a really effective way. And as we've shown you in other lessons too, you can use this HTML export code in your actual notes as well uh, and, and in a really effective way. So for example, let me go ahead and show you that really quick just before we're done because it's a little extra added bonus. Um, let's say I'm looking at the uh, a report here and in this Spotify report, you know, I want to be able to actually have this rendered that actually gives me more data. So undisclosed numbers of users in this email addresses and passwords left open on, online. So this is explaining the report. But let's say in my um, HTML export, I actually want more in insight in this actual write-up. So what I can do here is I could say, you know, um, uh, you know car carrot value uh, uh, dollar sign organization dollar sign uh, uh, close out the dollar sign comma in say value and we'll change this one to say uh, reach here you know experienced a data breach okay and then we can go on with the other text that was there I can hit uh, shift command uh, uh, T to format the data normally and now we'll look what happens to the report I go preview and now we're actually bringing the data in Spotify in 2020 experienced a data breach so this is another way you can really enrich your data and if I go back to the market sector report it just dawned on me hmm I actually want the, the text description in this report as well well we can go back and fix that pretty easily I can scroll down here go here go here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new a new row or uh, a new table a column to my row or to, sorry I'm going to add a new column to my spreadsheet uh, and that is going to be uh, description okay and I'm going to go here and I want to add the text so I go here and I don't need since text is a standard element I don't need to be pulling in the value from the uh, from using the value export I can simply type text uh, and so now I'm adding a new uh, column to the spreadsheet so when I go look at the report now you'll see I've now got the description um, of that report now here's the final thing I want to show you which is just immensely cool uh, when it comes to doing this I now can go ahead and hit command a copy C pull in say an Excel page and hit paste and now we've got that whole report out of tinderbox and into an Excel spreadsheet we can do anything with it we want now pretty darn exciting hope that you guys find this helpful and thank you very much oh and be sure to like the video subscribe and don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn thanks